Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. In this video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of getting a purebred dog. Most likely, if you're looking for a purebred, you're probably going to be bringing home a puppy. And my name is Sarah Surrett with Get Positive Dog Training. So let's dive into it. Upfront, purebred dogs are going to be the most expensive, ranging anywhere on the super low side, which would be a little concerning to me, of maybe $500 all the way up to $3,500. I will say it's really important to make sure that you do your homework and make sure that you are working with a qualified, reputable breeder who knows what they're doing, not just a backyard breeder or a puppy mill. That would be someone that claims that they have a purebred puppy, but they wanna meet you in the local park, that you aren't able to see their facility, see their what they're doing, or meet the owner, uh, the owner's mother and father of the of the puppy. So do do your homework. You can check out the American Kennel Club, which is akc.org, and make sure that your breeder that you're interested in working with is listed there. And also check out the local clubs for that particular breed. So there might be. Um, the Bernice Mountain Dog Club, and they usually have a team of experts or people on the board that can vouch for the particular breeder that you're looking at uh, considering. The nice thing about um, getting a puppy from a breeder is that you're, if you are really specific on what you want, um, then you're going to be able to get that most likely over going to a local shelter or a rescue group. You're going to be able to have more guarantees with the look, the size, the temperament, um, the type of hair, um, the longevity. Some dogs are bred for, um, you know, to live longer than other dogs. So there's a lot of different things that you wanna look at in considering getting a purebred. And if you don't really care about all those, then I would recommend that you go the rescue route. Again, the cost is going to be up on the high end dollar wise, and that will normally cover the first vaccinations, but it's not gonna cover the spay and neutering that will be required later down the road. Um, what I do love is that good reputable breeders are going to be there to support you from day one. If, they're, if they are open and friendly, they're going to be giving you the lowdown every day with when those puppies, the, from, from when the mom gets pregnant to the day those puppies are born. If you are somebody that wants photos of your puppy growing up, then going possibly the breeder route um, is a wonderful opportunity. Although know that you can get that as well with the rescue if you rescue a puppy. But having that camaraderie with the local community of that particular breed, you immediately are thrown into a family of Labrador lovers or golden retriever lovers, no matter where you go to get your dog. Um, as I mentioned before, it's important that you do your homework um, because one of the benefits of getting a dog from a breeder is that they have hands on that puppy from day one and the good breeders are working on early socialization through positive associations. They're working on development, interactions with novel objects. So there are so many opportunities for your puppy to learn to build confidence and interact with their other siblings and things in the environment. They're gonna play a huge role for your puppy for the rest of his life. So that's where it's important to look at doing your homework and making sure that your breeder that you've selected is doing his or her due diligence to ensure that puppy is on the right path. So many times I've seen people spend thousands of dollars on puppies that are just shoved in the garage in a circle pen with newspaper under their feet with nothing other than that. Missed opportunity written all over the wall. So although um, breeding, going through a local breeder is a wonderful opportunity, you do wanna make sure that you are doing everything it takes to make sure that you are getting the information that that puppy is on its way developmentally. So. The other thing that I love that uh, breeders will put in place is that there's a contract. So they are huge advocates for their dogs. And if for some reason something happens and you cannot keep your dog any longer, they are going to take that dog back. So most breeders will have a one to two year contract. That contract also guarantees a lot of the health 
and um, you will want to review that contract with a fine tooth comb to make sure that all of the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. So I hope this is helpful and I hope that uh, you consider looking at uh, going through a breeder if it's something that you are wanting with regards to specificity on age and color and size and temperament and hair and all that good stuff. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.